Hello, and welcome to this video on folders in Confluence. If you've been using Confluence a lot, you're gonna be really excited by this feature. And if you're not as familiar with Confluence, you might be wondering why we would care about getting something like folders. They seem kind of boring. But I'm gonna to explain to you why I'm so excited to have access to these, and then I'm gonna show you how you can use them to improve your Confluence space. Before we had folders, there was no way to structure content in Confluence without having a piece of content be the parent. For example, if I had a number of meeting notes, I couldn't put them all underneath the same common parent unless that parent was another piece of content, like a page or a whiteboard or a dashboard. This meant I would frequently end up with a parent page whose sole purpose was to serve as a way to collect other pages. It didn't offer any new information or content or anything other than a place to store other things. This meant my Confluence Spaces had a whole bunch of pages called something like meeting notes or list of things here that had nothing on them. And I've struggled for years to find ways to use that page. I tend to make it an index. I just have a macro showing all the child pages and I kind of walk away and feel a little bit bad about it because it's not that useful. However, with the addition of folders, we can now add something to the page hierarchy that doesn't require us to pretend it's a piece of content. It works just like a folder in my office that I put other content into, and it allows me to organize what I have in there much more easily and effectively. And even better, folders have restrictions just like other pieces of content. So I can restrict access to a folder and all of its children in the same way I can any other thing in Confluence. So here we are in Confluence Cloud Premium. Now folders are being rolled out to everyone across platforms on a staggered basis. So if you don't have it quite yet, you might have to wait a little while to see it. The way you'll know you'll have it is if you go to your page tree and hit create, you'll just see a new folder and you might get a little pop-up giving you some more information. Now, before I had folders, as I mentioned, I would usually just make a page called something like meeting notes and put all the meeting notes underneath it. I do this frequently and I will end up with a lot of meeting notes and a parent that's blank or has something like this, my incomplete tasks. It doesn't do much other than serve as a clearinghouse for other information. So I'm gonna use a folder instead. I'm gonna go back to my page tree and just create a folder. And here I have a new folder. Now you'll notice when I click on it, it doesn't open, nothing shows up on the right. And that's because this is not content. This is just a way to organize things. By default, it's gonna be treated exactly like a parent because it's expected something will live in there. I'm gonna give it a better name. So I'll click on the more actions and hit rename and call it meeting notes. And if I look at this more actions, I can star this just like other content. I can copy a link to it and I can edit its restrictions. So I can have the same control to edit and view as I do to other pieces of content. I can also copy and move it and archive and delete it. So to use this folder, all I'm gonna do is click and drag my meeting notes into my brand new folder. And now when I open that folder, we're just gonna see that there's content in it. This makes it much easier to organize my space and to put like content under like content. I don't have to struggle and add a random page just called meeting notes that will clutter up my search and my page tree anymore. Instead, I now just have this folder that makes it much easier to manage my content. Now there is one nifty feature that the nice people at Atlassian added, and that's the ability to convert an existing page into a folder. So in my example here, I've got this meeting notes in space. Instead of making a brand new folder like I showed you, I could have just opened up this page and clicked on more actions in the top right, and I can convert this page into a folder. Now it's gonna create an archive of that original page. So if I do really need access to everything that was on here, I have it, but I can just click convert. And a moment later, we're gonna see a brand new folder with the same name that I used to have. So this is gonna be a great way to quickly convert all of those placeholder pages into something much more useful. In addition to that ability to convert any page into a folder, you will also see this banner way at the top if your page has either no children, it's just a parent, or it's a parent that only contains the child macro. You'll see that it's prompting you to convert it into a folder. This to me is pretty neat because it's gonna remind me of all the different places I'm using a blank parent when I should instead be using a folder. I can just click show me how, 
and it's gonna take me straight to that convert to folder. So be on the lookout for this to help improve your space when you are using it just as a blank parent. Now, folders are like any other piece of content. If I go to my space settings as a space admin and click on features, I do have the ability to turn them on or off for this particular space. So if I'm in a space where I don't think it's appropriate for users to use folders, I can just go flip it off and then folks won't see it at all. And of course I can turn it back on. So those are folders. I am really excited to see these in Confluence because they give me a way to better structure and organize my information. Instead of having that placeholder title parent page, I can now just use a folder that's appropriately named to contain all of that information. So that's the basics on folders. If you like this, please like it and subscribe. Use the comments to drop your questions or let me know what else you're interested in seeing. And thank you so much for taking time to learn with me about this system. I really hope to see you in one of these again soon and have a great day. Mm -hmm.